Okay, my fellow YouTubers, this is my third and final video before I strike off and try to build one of these my own. And uh, here is my setup again, my energy uh, device that I've created. And uh, what I want to show here, this one is to the same specifications as in my first video. And what I want to do is look at this motor here. And show you that the settings for it are for a maximum of 600 RPM and a strength of 1.8. And what I wanted to demonstrate is that it's not enough energy to move this mass all the way around in a circle when gravity is on. And so, looking at this device this time, uh, we're looking at this as the bottom and this as the top, as opposed to before when it was on its side. So what I'm going to do is engage the motor and see what happens. Here we go. You can see it isn't enough to pull that mass around. So how are we going to get the mass to do? What I wanted to demonstrate is that what we can do is, let me grab this and try to keep everything straight. just going to pull this mass up to the top of the cycle. I don't mess up here. And let it go from the top of the cycle. And it should have enough energy to rotate right around and get started. So you can see we're putting in just a very little bit of energy hoping that it will get going. <clears throat> and there it goes. You'll see that the mass is indeed oscillating or reciprocating. goes. It's running smooth now. Pulling this mass up and down. This could just be just as well be a pump. By the way in fun the size of this mass determines its actual mass and as we all know that in order to move a mass or change its direction it requires energy. So here the mass is going back and forth, up and down. This could just as easily be a generator of some sort. Definitely a free en energy device. Not much energy going in here, but a lot of energy coming out on this side. Okay, that's it. Have a good day.